That's about the maximum litter size for one female, isn't it? 25% don't get through the first month. And they're born with incisors and really sharp teeth and their eyes open. And as soon as they're born, they're fighting one another. But by the time they get to this stage, it's all sorted. They already know who's top hyena. Yeah, there it is, there, look. It looks much smaller, it's much smaller. Mm. Oh, it's just, mm. it's just gone down. It's just gone down. This would happen. How long has that cable been to last? Mm. Oh, hello. Oh, they pulled the cable out. I don't believe it. They're chewing it. <laughs> oh, that's not good at all. That's a shame because they just plucked up the courage to come right up to the camera. So the camera did give us the opportunity to find out a bit more about them. I think, from my point of view, what's going to be interesting is, you know, will these be? the hyenas of the future that might visit our waterhole. After a few months, they will go out with those adults, and there's every chance that they'll turn up down there. Choosing a den so near to our waterhole, and therefore close to prey, is a key survival strategy that will help this clan grow strong in numbers. <laughs> 